Okay, so the um, the band got started by uh, Carl Vasey, the singer, main songwriter of the band. Um, he started in sort of two ways, really. He went off to uh, America for a year, did a bit of a, a pilgrimage out there. And um, while he was out there, he was in touch with some guys from uh, some label uh, in, in America who wanted him to come over to LA. Well, he was writing in New York at the time. Um, so he got a one-way ticket out to LA, just jumped on a bus with his guitar, um, rucksack, and drove all the way out there. Met up with the guys, I think he worked with them for about eight months, something like that. Um, generated quite a bit of interest in his, uh, in his work in the, in the meantime. Then on his way back to England, he was thinking that he just wanted to write this really great record. And uh, in order to do it, he wanted to have different musicians from different musical backgrounds, different sort of genres. Um, so they, he uh, got through MySpace all the guys that he wanted to get on his team, effectively. David Armar, the bass player, he's really into uh, Latino and soul music, jazz kind of stuff. Uh, so he brings like a real groove to, to the bass lines. I started writing with him, bringing a more sort of punky edge, uh, heavier guitar sounds, more um, intricate guitar melodies. Uh, and then likewise, um, a guy I knew, Aiden, who just came down and started playing drums for us and also kind of came from a more punk rock kind of background. Um, but we brought a, a bit of a heavy edge to the sound that Carl was after, which was that sort of big American, American rock sound. Uh, the nicest part about being in the band, um, I think hanging out with my, fr my friends, uh, all of whom are really into music, into making music, into playing music, uh, going to watch other bands with them and you know discovering music together, all of us have a really good sort of way of being able to pass music on to each other and uh, you know so that's really cool, you kind of keep that spirit going that you have when you're young and you're just getting into listening to music for the first time, so that's, that's certainly a great thing. The best feeling about being in the, in the band is really the, the impact we've had on other people's lives though, like we um, put a video out and uh, to have some of the responses that we had to it, you know, we had so many um, people just write to us and say they loved it, they, they were really uh, amazed by what they were, had experienced and couldn't wait to hear more and sort of to know that you're actually getting a uh, your music across to somebody who's really appreciating it and actually showing you that they're appreciating it, that's, uh, yeah, that's a wonderful feeling. Um, I think the coolest thing that ever happened to us though was the time we had that, somebody who really, really got into us and they sent us this photo of a tattoo they'd done of the, the Vasey logo and all of our bad names and we were like, wow, that's, that's really cool. So yeah. I guess maybe going out to gigs. Um, Going to the movies, we see a lot of movies together, anything with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't know, we, uh, we've we had quite a few crazy parties over the years, uh, a couple of memorable ones in Spain for sure, uh, and I still have scars on my leg, <laughs> which is both legs actually from, from the last time we went there. So yeah, we just when we hang out, it was outside of the band, it's really to kind of just do what regular guys do, you know, drink and party and have fun, uh, yeah. You're So yeah, um, the name Vasey came about through um, Carl, it, it, his surname is actually Vasey and uh, while he was in America doing a bit of touring and writing over there, he was just doing it as a solo act and all of his stuff was being released as Carl Vasey and then that just ended up becoming Vasey. And when he came uh, came back to England, he'd set up a MySpace and Facebook accounts and all sorts of uh, things like that and it was... The, the band moniker was Vasey and we sort of said, look, you know, you got to you got to keep this because you've got fifteen like thousand people on your MySpace or whatever it is that that all really like your stuff that are gonna want to know what what you're doing, and it just we thought it was kind of cool actually. It worked for Bon Jovi and Van Halen, so why not Vasey? Why not? There's a hope in you that's feeding you that's leading. Music videos can be actually uh, quite stressful because if things aren't going as smoothly as you want them to go, um, then they can be not pleasant experiences and we've, we've gone through that in the past. Um, but when they are planned properly and when you have a really good concept for them and you 
are working with a team around you that understand your artistic vision, they can be just a walk in the park and, and actually loads of fun. And I think a lot of it actually is, is the people you work with. Um, the last video we did was with a, a company called Jet Productions and the two guys that we work with in, with Jet, they really understood us artistically but also they understood our humour. So I think we were able to have a, a great working relationship with them yet also have a, just a, a laugh and a joke at the same time. So the laughs we had on, on the set were really great and the, the chemistry, the vibe, the bond that we actually got out of it was, was, was great. Why is there always more to find, but you never find out? The other side um, came about, actually Carl came round to my apartment once um, and showed me this short uh, clip of a, a video from uh, a short story or short film called The Broken um, by a director called Michael Fernandez. And he showed me this clip and said, you know, what do you think to using something like this or kind of taking the idea of how this is filmed and putting it into to our video? And I said, you know, this is great. Um, it's showing quite dark subject matter. And the whole idea of the, uh, the, the song of the other side is that there's sort of two sides to every story. And um, we kind of wanted to take the dark subject matter, but put it into a, a light uh, or sort of aesthetically bright and colourful music video and we we managed to get uh, permission from Michael Fernandez actually to use the footage that he'd already taken from the broken which was which was great um, so we had to try and come up with a way of actually integrating his footage with the, the footage that we we're taking and we came up with the idea that uh, by picking several characters off from his short film um, we produced backdrops so Aiden and I produced these backdrops with uh, the four characters that we used uh, for the live footage and that kind of then fed into the footage that he was doing so really the concept came from actually Michael Fernandez I guess um, but Carl found his video we managed to, to get permission to use it and then between two or three of us in the band we kind of mangled it all together. We are basically writing like big guitar soulful kind of honest rock music and if that's the kind of thing that you're into then do it just check us out